guys how are you uh, today it's a different video this time I'm gonna be filming or not filming I'm gonna be talking in English this has been requested for my friends um, I have a lot of friends that obviously speak English so I kind of wanted to try it out and see how you guys liked it um, obviously my first language is Spanish so I'm gonna have an accent so please excuse me if um, that bothers you <laughs> I hope not so um, what this is going to be about today is I'm gonna um, kind of like give you um, my go-to makeup uh, tutorial which is this but the only difference that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to um, pull it off with using colors as well as this nice bright fuchsia that I have or um, a red or a, you know another orange color or something like that so this is the type of video I wanted to film today I wanted to show you how to pull off a nice bold lip and be colorful without having uh, to use a lot of makeup okay or how to put it together so this is a video that I have filmed for you guys today. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you guys are interested in doing tutorials in English or you know videos in English. I would love to hear from you guys if that's something that you know you feel appeal for. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And we are we're gonna start, okay? Okay, my loves, we're gonna start with a clean face, and I'm gonna start priming my face with a moisturizer. This is from Morag, and it's an oil con uh, control moisturizer as well as a mattifier, and it has SPF. I love this. It's seriously one of the best um, moisturizers I ever had. So we're just going to blend that into the face. Once we have all moisturized our face, I'm going to start with my eyebrows. And this is my NYX um, eyebrow pencil and the color Expresso. So I'm going to start doing my brows. And I'm going to fast forward all these um, blending methods and stuff because, you know, you, know, you don't want to see me for like 10 minutes blending on my makeup. So just to make a process faster. So I'm going to do my brows. And um, this is how I normally do it every time. I like to have a little bit more of a natural looking brow if I must say it on like my go-to makeup so that's what I'm doing here so I'm just filling up my brows and lining it up and having a little break dance <laughs> that's how I am doing my brows Now for foundation, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Foundation and I'm on the shade 228 Soft Tan Bronze. So that's the one I use. This is a matte, uh, a matte finish. Uh, so I like this foundation a lot in my daily basis kind of thing. Uh, if I'm not going out, it has good coverage. It's not too heavy on the skin and um, it blends out nicely. So if you need more coverage you can always add more to it too so I'm just gonna blend that on all over my face and I use my beauty blender uh, for my foundation sometimes I don't like to get it all wet uh, or damp it but um, it's up to you you can do whatever you want to do with that beauty blender so I personally don't like it on this time so I decide not to And for my concealer, I'm also going to use my Maybelline Fit Concealer. And I'm on the shade light. I'm going to use this to conceal a little bit and also to highlight. So I'm just going to place it under my eyes, on my chin, on the center of my nose and my forehead. Just to um, make everything more even. And I am going to start blending.
Okay, to set my concealer, I am going to use my trusty powder, the RMCA powder, not color powder. And I'm just kind of like going to set it, but at the same time, I'm going to bake. What baking is, is you place a, a good amount of uh, this powder under your um, areas that you normally sweat a little bit more. I like to put it under my eyes, not all the way on the top because it can dry it out. But I put it on my forehead and my chin and my nose as well because those are the areas that I normally sweat the most and where my oils start to break out. And we're going to bake it for a little while. Now it's time to give some definition to my face. And what am I going to use is uh, this new product to me that is from NYX. It's a wonder stick. It has a highlight and a contour stick at the same time. So I'm going to use the contour side to give some definition. And I'm placing it underneath my cheekbones. And I'm going to put it on top of, I'm sorry, on my forehead and on the side of my chin a little bit just to make it a little bit more shadowy so it appears to be um, a little more defined and I'm gonna start blending that out with my beauty blender this time I decided to get wet or damp so I can blend out the cream product products better with this once I have everything blend now I am going to remove my baking so I'm just gonna dust everything off my face with this Real Techniques brush. It's just a regular powder brush and I'm just taking it all off from my face. And with whatever is left on my brush, I'm just gonna set the whole entire face, um, especially what I just placed the cream product. Because on top of that, I am going to use another powder brother. And this is my um, favorite bronzer of all time. This is from the brand Essence. And um, I'm going to use this Morphe brush to create a little bit more of a bronzy look. Just going to add a little bit more color to my cheeks. Okay, for the fun part, I'm going to use this palette that I absolutely adore. Is from Becca Cosmetics and it's a collaboration with my favorite YouTuber, which is Jacqueline Hill. And I am going to use the blush in there, which is that nice coral pinkish tone. That one on the corner right there. I can't pronounce the name. I'm sorry. But I'm going to use that too, um, as a blush, which is a blush. So I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. And from the same palette, I am going to highlight with my favorite highlighter of all times, which is Chain Bain Pop. It's from the same collection that she did with the same collaboration. So I'm just going to put it on the highest point on my cheeks and a little bit on the top of my brow, just to give a little nice glow looking um, to my skin. So it looks like I am being kissed by the sun. gonna apply my eyes I'm gonna use essence center stage eye light primer I like this uh, eyeshadow praise or eyeshadow primer because it's really cheap and it's a nice color to my um, lids so it doesn't look um, too white it's basically like a skin color really much to my skin color I'm just blending it all over to the eyelid Now to set that um, eyeshadow base, I'm just going to use this um, eyeshadow from Morphe, which is called Cream Puff. And I am going to use it with this big uh, blending brush, which is Morphe M501. 
I'm going to place that all over my lid wherever I put um, my eyeshadow base. So for the eye look, I'm just going to go with a very simple eye look, which is just bronze on my lids with this shade from Makeup Geek, which is Coco Bear. I love the shadow. It's very um, nice and orangey. It gives me, it gives me a nice um, tan looking on my eyes, just enough to make my eyes look like they have some type of dimension in there. So I'm just going to place that on my crease and I'm going to start blending it out. Now to make my eyes pop, I'm just going to use this NYX um, Jumbo Crayon Eyeshadow Color and the shade Milk, which is completely white, just to give it a little pop of color and use it as a base for the next shadow that I'm going to use. And then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. The next shadow I'm going to use is um, Touch of Lilac from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's, I will say it's more like satin finish. And it's, um, in my eyes, it's a little uh, lilac-y, not too much, but it looks more whitish. Um, so I'm just going to place that with this um, taper brush or eyeshadow brush. And I'm just gonna dab that into my eyelid. I'm not going to rub it, I'm just dabbing it, just making small pressing motions. Once I'm finished with my eyeshadows, I'm just gonna start um, making a wing into my eyes. I'm gonna use this tattoo liner which is like a pen or liquid liner on a pen and um, if you want to know how I create a wing liner I have a video on it and you can check the link I'm gonna put it down below so you can take a look of how it see could be done um, I did it off camera so because this is a little bit more um, difficult than using a regular liner so here it is, I finished my liner and I went ahead and um, finished it off camera like I said. So now I'm just taking a little break dance again. And what I did is also I uh, curled my lashes and pop up some eye uh, falsies. Now I'm going to clean up my wing liner so we can make it a little bit more sharp and more defined. And what I'm using is my same concealer from uh, Maybelline Fit. And I'm just going to place a small amount underneath and I'm going to take any concealer brush that I have synthetic and I'm just going to clean it up like so. And this is how the eyes are going to look. Get a nice sharp thing. Now for the fun part. This is what I'm talking about. The uh, uh, lip color. This lip color from Milani is absolutely stunning. I love it. It's um, it's called uh, Milani in the shade Fancy. So obviously the name says it all. And I'm gonna place this nice bright lilac-y fuchsia color on my lips. And I'm gonna show you how it looks.
so this is how it looks let me zoom you in so you can take a look so right now it looks more like a lilac fuchsia um, very bright very neon but I wanted a little bit more pinkish onto it so I went ahead and placed this other one from NYX and it's just gonna give me a little bit more of a pink tone instead of just being too lilac -y for my taste because that's what I was looking for for a little bit more of a bold fuchsia color to pair with this nice yellow blouse and that eye look that I have so there it is that's how it looks nice color okay my love so this is the final look this is what I use um, on my go to makeup and if I want to stand out more just bear with the both lips I personally love 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 this fuchsia color with the yellow and any other bright colors that you can incorporate to your um, outfit and it looks beautiful um, I, I think I love it it's it's just perfect for me so I hope you liked it if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up share the video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and do it I will appreciate it so much so until next time then bye bye